Welcome back to the channel everyone. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about why I am collecting all of the Final Fantasy games on the Switch. Um, as you can see, these are the ones that I currently have. I have Final Fantasy 7 and 8 right here, Final Fantasy 10 and 10 2, and then I have Final Fantasy 12 Zodiac Age. Um, if I, well correct me if I'm wrong, but the only game I'm missing so far that's released on the Switch uh, Final Fantasy wise um, is Final Fantasy 9 I don't know um, if they have like a English release because when I was looking for them on Amazon I only saw like foreign releases of that game but um, let me know and comment down below if you think that game is definitely worth picking up um, I still have my hands full with all these Final Fantasies well besides 12 I've beaten it multiple times but um, 7 and 8 I, these are my first plays, and then uh, 10 and 10 2 are also my first plays. And I guess just to get a little bit of the background, um, I originally got into uh, Final Fantasy on the Switch again once number 12, I found out it was re-released. Uh, that was my favorite uh, PS2 game by far. I put probably 120 hours into that game. Um, but yeah, so... That kind of revitalized my interest in the series for the Switch. And then I just, um, as they announced the remake for Final Fantasy VII, um, I really wanted to play that game. Uh, the only problem with with that was that I didn't have a PS5, and I'm sure a lot of people could, uh, you know, relate to that. So I was like, okay, what's the next best thing? I was like, okay, let me at least play the Final Fantasies on the Switch while I wait to get a PS5. So uh, that's kind of how it came to be where um, I was just collecting all these Final Fantasy games. Um, the reason why I believe that you guys should um, get these games is because for one, the portability of these games is insane. Um, you know, it's way easier to p play on the Switch than like a standard console like a PS5 or PS2 or PS1, or s which some of these games <laughs> were released on. Uh, so yeah, and not to mention their classics, um, they have really good replayability because you could either, you know, farm for the ultimate weapons, you know, do the little side quests, and, you know, if you, they usually have, uh, other game mechanics such as, like, making the playthrough harder that, uh, makes it fun, and yeah, these games are just classics, JRPGs are one of the most popular game formats even to this date so that's kind of where i'm coming at for um why you should buy these games uh another thing is a lot of these are remastered as you can tell final fantasy 10 and 2 10 and 10 2 and then also 8 are remastered so they do look a little bit better uh final fantasy 12 the zodiac age also looks better um I believe 7 is just strictly how it looked uh, when it first released, which is fine uh, because I do plan on playing um, the remake anyway, so we can just enjoy both styles. Also, another thing that's m worth mentioning is that Final Fantasy 7 um, Crisis Core will be coming out on the Switch, which um, I will be getting, so you guys definitely can look forward to getting that unboxing. Uh, but... As of now, I do have my hands full with these videos, or videos, these games, um, so just let me know what you guys want to see from these games. I'm not sure if you guys want actual gameplay or if unboxings are mostly what you like to see, but um, in the background, you can see I'm playing the credits, uh, the Final Fantasy XII Zodiac Age credits. Uh, it looks really good. It's making me want to play the game again, to be honest. This would be like the fifth time, but... Um, let me know, comment down below which Final Fantasy games you guys have and which ones are your favorite. Um, bonus if it's f on the Nintendo Switch, because like obviously this is a Nintendo Switch video. But um, yeah, I've just I really have been debating getting nine because uh, each of these games, each Final Fantasy is a literally at least thirty hours of gameplay, um, and that's if you like rush through it and don't do any of the side stuff. So if you're looking at these games if this has 30 that's 30 hours that's 60 and there's two games in here so that's another 120 
Uh, so yeah, it's kind of hard to keep up with all the games. But um, I am looking forward to diving into the Final Fantasy universe even deeper because um, I can't wait to play the remake. And um, as you guys may know, Square Enix did release a lot of footage and um, news about the new Final Fantasies that will be coming out. So yeah, it's going to be dope. I'm looking forward to that, but um, hopefully you guys like this quick little video. I highly recommend you guys pick up these games because they're classics and um, having them in portable version never hurts. Not to mention, um, it's these games are solid for first timers or people who have already played it. So yeah, and I'll also be linking all these um, games in the description below. So if you'd like to support the channel, make sure to purchase from the links below. And uh, yeah, hopefully I see you on another video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next upload.